Hey everyone, welcome back into Mountain Dog Companion. Um, I'm back here again, hanging out with Lou, uh, sorry, Crystal and uh, Icons Litter. And they're about six and a half, seven weeks old right now, coming up, doing very, very well, hanging out, doing great. We're all having a blast out here. Beautiful puppies, they're doing phenomenal. We finally got some wonderful weather, so we're able to go outside again and hang out with the pups outside. Um, it's right now, I mean, very close to 70 degrees, which is phenomenal here, especially for Ohio. Um, Ohio, I mean, normally we'd have probably 20 to 30 degrees right now. So uh, we're loving the 70 degrees and um, they're enjoying it as well. So we're just having a good time here. I'm gonna be going through talking about their personalities. I know we got a little bit delayed on litter picks here with this litter um, just because of my vacation here. I actually just got back yesterday from Florida and so I'm getting back into it and looking forward to um, getting into these litter picks. So super excited to get rolling here. Um, I'm just going to be going through talking about each one, talking about their personalities and uh, just kind of everything in general. So first off, we got Emma here. Emma's a big girl. She's nice and blocky, heavy set. Um, now she is one of the more calmer girls and very much of a homebody like you just saw. She just hung out. Everyone else is scattered out and about, hanging out. And she's just more of a, a people-oriented puppy. She wants to be very Velcro. She wants to hang out specifically with you. Um, so super sweet girl, that's kind of her personality. Very confident, very um, people-oriented. She doesn't have a problem really getting along with anyone. Um, she's just very um, in tune with her people. So um, beautiful white socks up front, along with it, a white blaze, um, and a little bit of a spot of tan on her nose. Um, with the white surrounding it and then tan all the way around with a um, nice tuxedo look here um, and then along with a white tip tail so again that's Emma super sweet girl you'll just see her probably hang out here that's what she wants to do uh, come here come here yeah you're just in time you'll be next what's up big dude yeah so we're rolling on uh, rolling along I got my sheet on my phone here uh, just to kind of keep everything straight. Uh, next up is Mandy. Uh, very sweet and outgoing, a little bit more on the playful side as far as personality. A little bit more energy comparing to Emma here. Um, just a little bit more um, of a fun pup. She'll, she'll be outgoing and she'll, she'll love hanging out with kids, I'm sure. I mean, she's been around kids all her life and absolutely loves it. Um, and I'm sure she would love uh, to have kids in her life as well just because of her outgoing and playful energy. She'll definitely keep uh, things busy. So uh, we got white socks front and back along with a tuxedo look up front and a beautiful white blaze. No Swiss kiss for her. Um, wonderful tan here as well along with a white tip too. So uh, come here guys. Come here fellas. Come here fellas. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah, they're doing very well on recall. I mean, they'll come out, they'll come to you pretty quick as soon as you ask them to. They're very good on that. Um, let's see who we have here. Um, if I can find it. I lost it on my phone. Don't you, don't you. Yeah, um, this is the big boy Gizmo, uh, the one and only male in the litter. Um, and he is doing great. We got white socks front and back and a white tip tail. You just wanna go. Um, and you got nice white socks up front as well. I'll let him wander around. He's a pretty um, exploring little guy. He loves being out and about, um, but he will come back and just hang out as well. Like I would say, if he's not super excited or gets you know, fired up, um, he, he's relatively chilled out and relatively calm as well. Um, he'll sit down and snuggle with you and hang out. Um, so a phenomenal pup there. Um, again, that's Gizmo. Okay guys, next up we got Natalie, um, super, super sweet little girl here. Um, I would say as far as personality, she's probably more on the lower energy side, but she has a very um, exploring personality. So she'll kind of do her own thing. She'll find something to do. She'll find something to check out. Um, it's not like, I mean, she'll still come and hang out and have a good time with you. It's not like she's, she's not a people puppy. She's just, sometimes she'll she'll think, you know, maybe I'll go over and check out the flowers or whatever the case may be. And she'll kind of do her own thing um, a little bit sometimes, which is um, a great thing to have for a puppy. 
and um, it's very, very wonderful to see that independent stage already at this age. Um, so she's kind of able to um, be on her own and kind of do her, uh, do her own thing as well. So very sweet girl there, of course. You can't have that. Yeah. Um, very sweet girl there she is again. So that was Natalie. Uh, moving on here, uh, we're moving on to Lucy. Um, very sweet and in tune puppy. She'll check you out. She'll keep everything um, with you. Like she, she wants to be with you. She wants to hang out with you. Now she, she is a little bit more lower energy. So you'll see more of a chill personality. Like she'll just kind of want to sit and take everything. And very similar to Emma. Um, if anything, not quite as uh, laid back as Emma. Like not quite as Velcro. Um, but she still is, does pretty good with it. Like she'll want to sit and hang out and take it easy. Um, so very sweet, sweet girl. Now these guys are all phenomenal as far as confirmation. I mean, they're very blocky, very heavy set, which you really see from Crystal, of course, and then Icon. I mean, he's just a huge guy and, and you can definitely see that. Um, so wonderful litter. They're all doing great. Now we did um, not have two puppies in the litter uh, or in the, in the video today. And it was Lulu and Krista helped me out, Honey. Yeah, Lulu and Honey um, didn't make today's video. We actually just did um, Entropian Eye Tax. So we had a little bit of an issue with um, Entropian Eye and it caused a little bit of irritation. So we ended up uh, going to our vet and they wanted us to do Eye Tax, which is basically it'll hold the eyes in, in place, like it'll pull it away. And then as the puppy grows, they'll just kind of grow out of it. So um, it, it kind of helps with that. Um, and so they just came out of that yesterday and we're just kind of uh, taking it easy a little bit here on the first couple of days. But um, for anyone on this litter, I know there's a couple families on this list um, that, you know, if you guys have questions about those personalities and everything, I'm more than happy. Um, if you can give me a couple of days, I'm more than happy to get those for you. So. Um, I'd love to help you out and have that whole selection. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Um, if anyone has any questions about these guys or want more in-depth details, feel free to reach out to me. My name is Jay Miller here at Mountain Dog Companion. My number is 330-234-0102. You can call or text me. You can email me at mountaindogcompanion um, at gmail.com. Uh, thanks for tuning in today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and we'll see you next time.